They're coming to get you, Barbara. The Dare, a horror podcast. Brought to you by Big Baby Studios. Hello and welcome to this episode of Dead Air, a horror podcast. My name is Chris Costello. I'm your resident horror fanatic, and I'm joined by my two other hosts. Yes, my name is Aaron, and I am the horror fan. I'm not a film person like my two other co-hosts, so I watch horror just to see how scared it can make me. Also, I am the token girl in the show. (laughs) So oh my God. they need that. They need that. So I'm here. That's what I'm that, here for. What is that? And we have another. Voila! We, you need. You need it. You need a girl. Representation. Yeah. 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 Representation. Yeah. Diversity. Yeah. And we have <laughs> a. Not, a it's yes, it's diverse. It's diverse. And uh, we have another co-host here with yeah. us. We're so diverse. You guys needed a scaredy cat. So that's me. I'm Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeah. third host, I'm the one who's always afraid to watch the movies that our guests suggest. Except for today's guest, who gave us a nice, wholesome movie to watch. <laughs> I'm, ve- I'm very happy. They're very, very happy, very mm-hmm. happy. And yeah, mm-hmm. so our, our guest tonight is pretty, pretty damn cool. He, he's a writer, he's a director, and actually, he's now a published author. Ooh. <clears throat> and of course, of course, of course, he's a musician. I mean, like, well, how do we, how do, we, how else do we introduce him? Renaissance um, man. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, Formerly Mr. Patience, dear juggernaut. Oh. I remember oh, hey, that. Hey, uh-huh. hey, hey, uh-huh. hey. Uh, yeah, so uh. welcome to the podcast, Mr. Wincy Ong. Hello. Hi. Happy to be here, guys. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Big, big fan of the podcast. Oh, Super yeah. big Oh my fan. God, guys, we have one. We no, have no, one fan. No, actually, I'm hey. learning so much about the horror craft through your podcast. Ah. Oh, what's shit. Your, what, what's your favorite You're episode You're welcome. So uh, the, the last one. The Jasmine Curtis. <laughs> Jas- uh, Cur- yeah. yeah. Good episode. Nice, good episode. Nice. And, and finally, there's a podcast like this. Na. I mean, I, I oh. love horror podcasts. But in format na ganito na you interview people who've worked in the horror uh, industry or… I think you've also in. Is it strictly a film podcast? Like yeah, it's, it's a strict. Yeah, it's a film podcast. It's a but film. I mean, like in in you know our our discussions, we can go anywhere you want. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, I'm learning. We have been so everywhere. Much. Yeah, we have. We're, yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> that, that's us. <laughs> I didn't know where Miguel was going with that. <laughs> it's like oh, we have been everywhere. That's like, are, are you calling us whores, Miguel? <laughs> no. Wow. Oh, okay, okay, Whoa. okay, okay. Okay, my bad, my bad. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, so anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, super so cool. So half we've of got, this uh, podcast, Wincy, is these two fighting, and yes. he just kind of going, ah, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. This is true. This is true. Mm-hmm. This is true. Yeah. They just bug each other all the time. So be yeah. prepared for that. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Aaron, we we miss each other. Okay, like I rarely get to see him in real life, so I, I yeah. We have to take it out on each other here sweet, on the podcast. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, but really cool uh, that we've got uh, Wincy here. Uh, I mean, like, not only uh, we we said he's a writer, he's a director, he's a published author. A lot of those things are horror adjacent. Uh, yes. he's, he's written and directed yes, a horror yeah. film. Um, he just released a bunch of short stories, uh, horror short stories, by the way. What? Uh, do, would you like to give us a, an introduction on that? Tell us. Oh, is this like my origin, horror origin story? Then? No. Not yet, not, not yet. yet. But, not but yet. just like a yeah. quick, so, like, because it just came out and it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, so uh, actually, I finished it last year. Pa. Mm. It took me three years to write. Uh, always uh, always loved uh, writing short stories, but I never really got the time until now. Now I'm semi-retired from uh, movies. Mm-hmm. Mm. So uh, I did uh, I did two movies horror adjacent both horror adjacent like you said uh, one is a, a horror comedy for Cinemalaya and the other is a mainstream movie that uh, under GMA films that's sort of like a Hitchcock thriller mm. with a uh, teleserie artistas <laughs> so that was my thing, so. how yeah. how does that work out well uh, that's how I retired from Film. <laughs> uh, I see, I see, I see. It's Explain really not for lot. me. Uh, film, yeah. filmmaking is really not for me. I'm more of an. Uh, I realize like uh, it's not my. I mean, I enjoy it, but uh, it's really not my cup of tea. Yeah. Of, of all of all the storytelling uh, 
methods, even if you delved in doing it, but it's not your main way of telling stories. So, is that what you're saying? I thought before when when you when you kaya ko pa magpuyat when I was in my twenties, <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pero yeah, and but, uh, actually, I actually got sick after the shooting mm-hmm. that movie, so uh, I had to stop. Talaga. I totally get that. I that's Understood. also the reason I I left advertising is because I just can't. My body just can't take it. Yeah, and, and I, I, it's just not for me. I mean, like to each his own, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at least, at least you can say you dipped your toes in it, in it, and then yeah. you're like, oh yeah, I, I did it, and then uh, and then now you you have other creative outlets yeah. like uh, your short story set that yeah. uh, you just released. Yeah. Um, so I released it under, which is getting a lot of press, by the way. <laughs> I know. I, I I I that I did not expect, man. That I did not expect. So I released it under uh, Amazon Kindle. They have nice a publishing shot, program. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. hopefully, pumasa naman siya sa editors. It's not. It's something that ano, I I thought it was just something automatic that you can write any story and then you give it to them. Mm. Apparently, you can't publish, diba? Of course, if that's the case, you can write you know recipes for how to make a bomb, diba? That was published it on Amazon. <laughs> Di pa, they actually yep. read it and there's a two weeks uh, <laughs> approval if you're officially ano mm. like. You're part of their author program, you know. And sad part also, I had a my my boss from ABS-CBN Publishing was supposed to uh, actually give it a shot. Uh, post yon, man. Uh, I talked to him, man. They they closed, man. Yeah, uh, yeah really, really yeah. sad, man. So sad, binila na we're really having, ano, we with the station down, but on the publishing, I yeah. know. Yeah, and they're a major publishing. But when you think about it, they're just not on TV and radio. But they were also in a lot of media, talaga, and one of it was publishing. Yeah, so, it's hayang. So I'm shopping it around now for physicals, mm, and it's a uh, it's a bit tough. Then yeah. it's really hard, man. Mm-hmm. Especially yeah. the publishing industry was hit then hard by you know, and the bookstores also. So diba, if bookstores, yeah, yeah. bookstore yeah. fully booked. Uh, Biblio book sale, you know, where you can sell your books is a uh, man. Even like, like for example, like me, like one of my favorite, my one of my favorite stores is really uh, used bookstores like book sale. There's one across Ayala 30th, which I go to. It's called Biblio, I think. Mm. Anyway, it was one of my favorites. And, but like at the start of this whole pandemic, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, so many people touch those books. Like, yeah, and then it's it's, yeah. it's not a way. It's not it's not right. Like you feel so bad about it too because you want to yeah. support it. You want to support the industry. But yeah, oh, wow, it's just a just a really confusing time. Yeah, but again, at least e-books, Rao, it got uh, got better. A bump, mm. yeah. Sure, sure, got sure. A bump because you know, yeah, it's it's germ free, diba? Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah uh, this book it's a uh, it's eleven stories. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Stephen King and uh, Ray Bradbury, uh, Rod Serling, and I really like the anthology anthology format, the short sure. stories. Mm. Yeah, I like that more actually than than horror novels because. You can see the range of the author, right? but the, how how he how he does different and the horror yeah. genre is so rich for me. Parang mm-hmm. andaming mm-hmm. andaming micro genres. Eh. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. It's Absolutely. not just your well, as Quark said, right, before in your previous episode, na it's about the supernatural, right? For him, yeah. Mm-hmm. For him, yeah, 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 for him, yeah. Pero I think you can you could go like body <laughs> horror, right? And it could. Aliens, yeah, yeah like, dude, so serial many. killers. I guess when see now's a good time to ask you about your origin story mm-hmm. of horror. Like, how did you? Oh, can what this be the whole episode? What, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see. This is actually we'll see. my. This is my favorite question in the podcast. Actually, ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, ano reko, uh, I'd like to ask you guys if the whole podcast can be this question. <laughs> 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 you extend the whole podcast about. Retitle your whole podcast into what's your horror. Let's see. Horror let's origin. see how. <laughs> <laughs> let's see how deep we can go into your. Yeah, answer. exactly. Let's yeah. see. Let's you see. Know, I think this is gonna take eighty percent of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't forget about do, the do, movie. Do you want to? Do you want to reverse it and start with the movie <laughs> and, then, and then go straight into <laughs> the <it? laughs> no, 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 It's okay. Yeah. So yeah, no, I was yeah. born in uh, nineteen eighty two. So mm. that was yeah. around the time of as in I'm digging really deep here and uh, sense memories because I've really been a horror fan mm-hmm. okay. as in super horror fan. So I think I was 
born in the same month as Michael Jackson's Thriller album came out. <laughs> so, uh, that was, Thriller was played all throughout the year. In the year I was born. So, I have sense memories of Michael Jackson's thriller. thriller. So, Damn. yeah. And, and I'm Three sure you know, the, memes. Radio, uh, the radio Easy. cut of Thriller uh, was was mm. cut short. Eh, diba? And, and the, if you have the, like, the vinyl or the cassette, that extends until like eight minutes, I think, or seven minutes. Mm-hmm. And you have that Vincent Price. Uh, at the beginning. Was it the beginning or the end? I don't know, at the end. Yeah, but the w- end. W- what's crazy about Thriller is the music video. It's like, it's a whole short film at the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. It's like four four minutes into the music video. You're like, oh, oh the song hasn't even started yet. <laughs> yeah, so I was, I always cried when I heard the, the Vincent Price part. Mm. when I was a kid so uh, it scarred me so my parents had to uh, teach me how to like still listen to it but at the same time uh, not go past through the Vincent Price part so my dad uh, told me to go in front of the speaker and listen to that voice and uh, he told me he explained to me the science behind it this is an actor this is a famous actor from the 1960s Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he has a script (laughs) he's not Mm -hmm. a ghost yeah, you have engineers who use these uh, reverb effects. Yeah. <laughs> so parang at that, I was two or three years old. I don't know. So at that early point in my life, parang for me, horror was, ah, so it's a science. There's a science behind horror. Parang people, yeah. people work to achieve this effect pala. Yes. So more than actually getting scared, I like the idea of how people create horror Mm. so Mm -hmm. weird so when I grew up I loved horror stories not well of course because of the effect on me pero at the same time na parang why was that why was that shot scary or why was Mm. this why can't I stop reading this 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 short story Mm. why why, why is the sentence is it the sentence construction parang Mm -hmm. parang if you, you have a horror story in your hands you can't stop Reading yeah. until the last sentence. Parang, I was fascinated by how did the writer do this? And aside I from I appreciate the- that. Wow. You you got really technical at a really young age, pa. So wait, sorry, yeah. before you continue, I just wanna ask, since you started at an early age already knowing the technicals of things, are you scared of supernatural and, and things like that? Do, do does it actually scare you? Do you believe in it? I'm actually more morbidly curious. Rather than mm, uh, sure. scared. Okay. Scared. Na, na, I'm sure like, you know, I've talked to a lot of horror fans. Na, and usually horror fans, I realized, parang sila hindi gullible. Eh. And, then, mm. and they, they see this as a science. Then, eh. Like, it's strange nga na, like, if I read a creepy pasta that's really good, that's well written, I, I text my friends, uh, Dodo Dayo and Mick, na parang, holy shit, this mm. is a this is a new twist, na parang mm. the math of the, the the math of the sentences, the math, the mathematics of the plot. Now, how did he how he how did he divert my attention from guessing this twist ending? Yeah, yung parang wow, bago to ah. So mm. I, I I I'm thrilled na yung more of the ano, the storytelling na. How did he do that? What 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 sorcery is this? Yeah, and also aside from that, I grew up in the eighties, and the eighties was such for me. It was such a mystical and supernatural decade. Na mm. not a lot of people remember that. Now we yeah. didn't have the internet. We had TV, and on TV you had psychics every every <laughs> night, <laughs> right? Yeah, in Badi Day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In Day Badi Day, right? And yeah, and. Dahil walang internet, walang social media, you really believed what was happening on TV, di ba? Mm. Tapos yeah. all these miracles, di ba, of uh, statues crying, di ba? Yeah, yeah. yeah Judea. That's, that's my shit, guys. That's when I tap out. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, religious horror. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Pero, Pero <laughs> tama si Wincy, like, growing up in that era, parang, even, even everyday media consumption was, was all around what was weird, what was natural, mm. what was strange. Like, even yung mga, what do you call, yung mga afternoon shows, like, uh, like yung mga afternoon dramas on TV, would always have uh, Encanto. You know what I mean? It will always yeah, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was very rich with folklore. Yeah. yeah. And wala pang cable non, Walang cable, no HBO. Oh. So, oh. you had no choice but to absorb it. Yeah. 
And also, ito, yeah. I don't know if you remember this. I had this weird fas- fascination with uh, in the 80s with, with chain letters. <laughs> no, it's true, man. I, I'd run to yeah. our post, uh, I'd run to our mailbox and and get mga chain letters na really creepy. Yeah. Na parang, this is from, uh, yeah, this is from And you house. liked parang, it? I loved it. Yeah, I kept it yeah. actually. And I kept reading it and it's really scary stuff. Yeah. Right. Interesting. So, so how about like, so that that's really cool. Uh, like the whole, uh, like how you basically just say that your whole childhood, you were just surrounded by th- these things that kind of indoctrinated you <laughs> into liking stuff mm-hmm. that's creepy and weird. And how about in, in, in the sense of like a film? Um, I mean, you, you, you are, I know you all, I've always known you as a big film person. What was the first horror movie you saw? Oh, or that you remember? Amazing. Actually, I, the the movie that we're discussing, I'd I'd consider that's the first really scary movie I've seen. That scarred me. Pero le, a legitimate uh, horror film. My 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 parents were were wary of us seeing horror films at that age. Sure. So this is like what, like like five, eighty six, eighty seven, eighty eight. Ah, uh, even younger. Yeah, yeah. four or five. Yeah. yeah. So Suguro, the legit. One was uh, Carrie. Ooh, oh, Carrie. Yeah. that's a good one. Mm. Carrie, yeah, the Brian De Palma Ooh. one. Uh, that's a good one. But before <gasps> that, all the movies in the almost all the movies in the eighties were horror adjacent. Even the comedies, mm. right? Yeah, did Teen Wolf. Teen yeah, Wolf exactly. Two. <laughs> oh, and aside from that, I also uh, I had my grade school education in Ateneo, the Manila mm-hmm. University, and wow, that that campus was like. It's like a Stephen King setting for me. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, all these all these old books from the 1950s to the they had a li- massive library. Mm. And uh it's it's really it's really a haunted place. They had a this co- place called the Rock Garden mm-hmm. where yeah. uh I'm sure Miguel you you've heard of that. Uh college lang ako sa college Ateneo, na, but, yeah, pero yeah. yeah. Pero Ateneo grade school was this really supernatural mm-hmm. Mystical yeah, nasa dulo place. pa kayo, di ba? Nasa dulo kayo ng, ng campus. Yeah. Like deep, yeah. Eh, sorry, sa harap nga pala, yeah. Yep. So, and ito pa, uh, what really uh, turned me on sa horror back then was something happened during my oh. grade school days na, Ooh. holy shit, this is uh, amazing. Na parang, yeah. one of, uh, I, I actually, and I actually saw it uh, during, before flag ceremony, I saw a student crying I then doubled over in front of the statue of a statue of a uh, Mama Mary. Oh, so, and, 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 yeah. this is creeping oh. me out. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm excited to hear. <laughs> this. I'm good then that this is Christmas Waterloo. Go on. <laughs> yeah. So go on, Wincy. People were rushing. I said, "Parang movie talaga." And ako, uh-huh. yun nga, I'm, I'm ex- I was excited. Parang yeah. I wasn't scared. <laughs> na parang oh shit, I gotta see this. Parang oh why is he crying? Yun pala because uh, the statue winked at him daw. Oh, oh my god. god! And then suddenly, oh, parang oh, there shit. was a. I'm super creeped out. I'm not even joking. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Okay. No, so, no, 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 go, 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 go. Continue, continue. In the 80s, uso yung mass hysteria, eh, di ba? Na parang, yeah, 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 yeah. Satanic panic in the attic, di ba? And parang ako, oh my God, yeah, this week is gonna be, <laughs> this week is gonna be fun. So after that, parang, all other students had mga similar experiences like in the chapel. <laughs> of course they did. Yeah, the, ano, the, yeah. Nahaw, parang nahawa sila. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Puso nga yan. Diba parang, Wild. the other statue raw uh, was crying naman blood. Tapos, the other statue was holding a fish. Tapos, he dropped the fish. Ganon. Ganon. And I was crazy back, I was so crazy about horror back then na uh, while these quote-unquote paranormal activities were happening, I lied to my parents na kunwari yung dismissal namin was 2 o'clock. I'd say na I, we, we had a project na until 5 p.m. So mm. I can look at that statue alone until 5. My God. Yeah. So why I was, would you I, do that? Exactly. Why would I? I morbid fascination talaga. Yan. Yeah. And I asked my friends na parang, can we be paranormal investigators and check this? Oh, wow. And all our, and all our priests, Jesuit priests were syempre, di ba? Giving all these homilies na this is a good miracle. The statue winked at you because he loves you. She loves you. Oh, you know? Pero, wow. I didn't, being you didn't in, ever try to join the spirit questers? Uh, <laughs> uh, is that your job? Yeah. Hindi eh. Pero I've, 
I read a lot of Tony Perez uh, fiction mm. in college. Yeah. So yeah. more or less. Yeah. I, I, I took his class. It was, it was pretty interesting. Yeah. But it was, it was creepy as fuck creepy. too. Yeah. He would yeah. only do it at night. Yeah, ah. exactly. Pero my hobby, right? My, the extension of that, Seguro, with that mass hysteria incident in school and me doing an investigation on my own was I do uh, abandoned uh, places, uh, not videos, naman, photos. Sure. Seguro, yeah. So, so especially during the quarantine now, uh, I got to get inside. Whoa, up to now. Wow, yeah, that's pretty now, interesting. Yeah. So I, a few months back, I was able to go to uh, the film, Manila Film Center. Oh shit! Paid the guard uh, one hundred bucks, so it's a really creepy Fuck. place, man. Yeah, and actually, strangely, I thought I saw a ghost. Parang yung nakita ko yung, I saw a ghost haunting na na. Parang mm. oh yes, my first ghost. Ganun yung ano ko. Kasi, <laughs> kasi I, I thought it was abandoned. I was I saw a lady working in the office. Uh, and yung reaction mm. ko parang okay, am I gonna run? <laughs> and I was looking at oh shit, ang reaction ko parang it's kind of cool because mukha pala rin silang ano tao. And then it was actually a, a Chinese woman pala na ano working there. <laughs> a real woman. <laughs> and they had a satellite office there. Basic. <laughs> oh my god. And sinabi ko sa Washroom, washroom so is that way. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, so uh, I'm really interested because uh, you've said a lot about your childhood. And I think that has really um, uh, influenced the choice that you selected for us yes. today. Yes. Yeah. So, exactly. so why don't could you give us a quick introduction into what movie you chose to discuss today and why you chose it? Okay, I'd like to call this movie Young Sherlock Holmes and the Temple of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Well, it's exactly yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. Why why do you choose it? Well, it's uh, as I've as I've mentioned a while ago, it's the thing that started everything for me. So actually yeah. I chose it for three reasons. Number one, it's the first it's really the first movie that got me into horror. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number two, uh I wrote a story about uh Sherlock Holmes. The mm-hmm. the centerpiece story in for my uh, ebook is uh Sherlock Holmes story. That but you have, him, you have to tell everyone the hook. Yeah, the hook. Is, I, I, I know the hook. What's oh, wow, the hook? yeah. So it's called the ophthalmologist. Oh, sorry, ophthalmologist's case. Mm. So hook, it's uh, hook, it's a yeah. pastiche. Uh, it's a pastiche story. I mean, it's not mm. something new. Like we've had mm. uh, Neil Gaiman write Sherlock Holmes stories. We've had Stephen King made mm-hmm. one actually. Mm. Uh, who else? And Stephen Shea King, bon. Michael Shea Shea bon bon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's not something new, but it's something new for Philippine readers, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I have I had him meet Jose Rizal oh. during the height of the Whitechapel murders. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, because there's a whole conspiracy that apparently that uh, Jose Rizal is is Jack the Ripper. Yeah, yes, and actually that. I got deep into that research. And mm-hmm. oh my god, it's really wow. Yeah. This is like it's possible. There's, oh, there's yes. a lot of parallelisms. Oh my god. It's freaking oh. scary, my god. Because okay, there are a lot of Jack the Ripper sci- scientists ne, or like mm-hmm. they dedicated yeah. their lives studying Jack the Ripper. And it's legit pala na parang they have this list of like a hundred people. No, they, and, yeah, yeah, suspects. Suspects, yeah. And Jose Rizal is always on whatever list. <laughs> Damn, because they he was he really was in England at the same time. Yes, I, I, exactly. Uh, yeah. And it's scary. And he does have a background in medicine. Mm. Yep, exactly. Mm. And, yeah. And someone and, reached out, and his go, initials go. are JR. <gasps> oh no! Dun dun dun! And uh, this is scary. Somebody, somebody actually messaged me on Twitter after all these, uh, you know, the media, uh, media articles. Another clue system though was uh, Jack the Ripper left um, notes. Tagalog. No, no, no. Tagalog. Notes. Na, no, po, poetry notes. <laughs> okay, okay. Tapos oh, scholars, and, yeah, and, scholars read it. Parang it matched the iambic pentameter of Rizal's poems. Oh my yeah. God. Love so, it. Oh my God. So before that, sabi ko na para somebody's why hasn't anyone written about this? Diba? Mm-hmm. Googling. Well, Ambeth, Ambeth Ocampo has written. Oh, has he? He, he? Yeah, in an article. Well, he's the premier, you know, source on, on Rizal. That, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, Makes sense. I'm up to my head in Sherlock Holmes and Rizal facts. And, ah, that's super cool. And so fun. So that, 
So so perfect perfect choice then. Yeah. Um I, I you like know the what? Call. Yeah. Oh right. sorry, I was gonna tell Wincy. You know what, Wincy? When you chose this movie, I told the guys that I was so excited <laughs> to see it. Yeah. Because I remember as a child, I would watch this movie all the time. A lot. As in a lot. In one week, I'd watch it so many times. And it got to a point where I actually wanted to wrap myself in toilet paper and have someone oh pour water God. on me. <laughs> and on, as in, the? I'd get toilet paper what I'd start wrapping the? my hands. I was so obsessed with this movie as a kid. So, That's wala crazy. Lang. I was yeah. so That's into it. So, crush na crush ko si Sherlock Holmes but he's okay lang pala. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you you had different tastes when you were younger. Aaron. With adult eyes, he's okay. <laughs> he's he's just okay. He's alright. <laughs> yeah, I was watching it. We were, I was watching it earlier, and my wife was like, "Oh, you know who he looks like? He looks like the guy in in Ratatouille." Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Like, oh, fuck, he looks exactly yeah. like him. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so but, you yeah. guys haven't watched it before? Only Aaron. No, I I, I, I I had seen it. But I've a never. long, long time ago. And I mean like a really long time. I watched it again today. I just finished it. Um, and then I was like, this is the only scene I remember. It's, a, it's at the climax where where he gets the blow dart and he blows it back into the mouth of oh, the, yeah. oh, the oh, bad that was guy. Awesome, yeah. That's the one. I was like, oh, ooh, wow, that really clicked. That's that's what I remember yeah. from my childhood. But yeah, There's I, a lot of I, good I, craftsmanship in the movie. Talaga, eh? Anyway, yeah. sorry. I, I but but out, really, but, really quickly, yeah. I, yeah. we we gotta kind of introduce the the movie to everyone. Yeah, I mean, so uh, you, you know, when I was watching this movie, I was like, I was like, uh, at the start, I was like, so so it's basically it's basically uh, what if uh, Sherlock Holmes and and Watson met when they were young and yeah. went to Hogwarts. Yes. Yes, exactly. And then like later in the film, they're like, and then they become Indiana Jones. Yes. <laughs> so so yeah. and it's so funny because like I had I number one, I, I totally forgot. I totally forgot who, who was involved in the movie. Mm. Um so number one is Dude, directed it's everybody by, famous, yeah. Yeah, it's directed yeah. by Barry Levinson. Yeah. Really big director in the eighties, nineties, but written by Christopher Columbus, who and directed the first it, Harry. Yeah. Harry yeah. Potter film, yeah. and then yeah. you can see. And I was like, "Oh my god, this is the DNA of of the look of of Harry, of yeah. Hermione, right? Like just the look, right? I mean, yeah. and and the kid, the bad the bad kid, he's, he looks Malfoy. like fucking Draco Malfoy. at yeah. one point. <laughs> yeah. So you, so you can really trace it back the DNA of like how Christopher Columbus is developing everything. Even I mean, the like character that, actors, like all the old teachers, right? the teachers are old. Exactly. The yeah. guy who examined the the pipe was this ugly looking like. Troll. Yeah, you know. yep, exactly. And, and there's always so cool. uh, this proprietor of a weird shop. Of a shop. Yeah, yes, yeah. that's the guy. Yeah. yeah, that's the guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. it was cool. It was cool watching that with with these like fresh eyes, you know, and then yeah. knowing everyone's like film backstory and everything. And then yeah, it did become Indiana Jones of the Temple of Doom mm. towards yeah. the end. Yeah. So you, you really see Spielberg's touches the one because he produced. Yeah, you see the loser, the yeah. ET bike flying kind of thing. Also, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, so familiar. Oh, it's really cool watching it as an adult, and then now you know everyone's body of work, and you gotta put these things together. But yeah, so so technically, this is not a horror movie, but for a kid watching it, it's got some really really yeah. intense scenes, like all those hallucinations. Those can yeah. be really like traumatic for children. Yeah. <laughs> this well, scary. Think, think, legit horror beats them on the same way Definitely. Indiana Jones and Yes, uh, and Temple of Doom, yeah. Uh, uh, the same way as Temple of Doom. It's like an adventure, a swashbuckling movie, but my horror elements the mm-hmm. yeah. like you know, like uh something super almost supernatural or uh, a cult or something like that. So that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. And if we follow the vein that horror movies have to have something horrific happen. Yeah. Pouring hot wax on a girl that's mummified yeah, is yeah. kind it's of disturbing. fucking yeah. horrifying. It is. My favorite. But, <laughs> actually, similar to Temple of Doom, uh, kids were coming out of the cinemas now crying. It, oh, oh, that, oh that, shit. That, See, yeah. Yeah. It, this movie probably created a lot of horror fans <laughs> <laughs> accidentally. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, I, I I had a lot of fun watching it again. To be honest with you, um, wait, somebody should summarize it. Also, I think Aaron should. Oh, and that somebody I'll should be it. should yeah. be Aaron. Yeah. 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 It was my favorite movie. Okay, so yeah, go for it. <laughs> so it starts out well. The frame begins. Joke lang. So we 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 start it, and we find we we find out that all these old men 
that we don't really know are being killed because you get to see how how it's being done. Some cloaked figure does a, a dart, a blow dart, hits mm. that person, and then they are overcome with some fear of theirs. And mm. I assume it's their own personal fear. Like it yeah. really attacks them, their own personal fear. So all these men start dying that way. And then we find out later because of Sherlock Holmes. Oh, sorry. So Watson and Sherlock Holmes meet in a school and they become instant friends because Watson has no choice. Sherlock Holmes <laughs> just kind of makes him his best friend. And then, um, so it, we, we kind of see the backstory of Sherlock Holmes, how he's really smart. He uses deduction and things like that. So he figures out that all these men are not dying by accident. It's not suicide. It's they're being murdered because and he uses his deduction powers. Yeah. And then we find out that um, a cult is actually killing all these old men. And they also sacrifice pretty girls every couple of months. So there's this ritual where they're, they're in some, some elaborate venue pyramid. with, pyramid with a perfect, <laughs> Perfect pitch choir every yeah. single freaking time. Like a perfect pitch choir just singing while the ritual is happening. And they mummify the girls. And then they they are hypnotized because the girls, their eyes are dead. So they're hypnotized and they're mummified and hot wax is poured on them as part of the ritual. So the whole thing, we're kind of trying to figure out who is this head of the cult. And then we find out it is Sherlock Holmes's mentor. And that sucks. Mm. And uh, he has to, you know, he has to defeat the mentor with their fencing. And the mentor, I only found out about this again now, becomes Moriarty. It's very interesting. So there, yeah. that is yeah. So, so, so it was, what's hilarious about that is, is uh, myself and Aaron, we didn't realize he became Moriarty until yeah. right before the show. Yeah. When Miguel told us that there was an end credit scene. Yeah. That that preceded all these fucking like stingers at the end of Marvel films or yeah. at the end of you know Ferris Bueller where you say it till the end of the credits and then there's a stinger and then like so yeah he he does become Moriarty at the end he signs it. so it's everybody's origin story though right? like parang mm-hmm. well in in the unofficial canon of Sherlock Holmes parang right. it's how Watson becomes who he is it's how Sherlock Holmes and uh, sorry I guess I don't know if it's for but ang ganda lang ng angle na like we see an emotional young Sherlock Holmes and this movie gives a reason why he becomes a cold calculating the exactly. doctor Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes later on that's pretty cool it's pretty cool like every like so many things are set up like yeah. actually I, what, what I read was Christopher Columbus was so um, respectful of the source material number one he added that uh, you know at the beginning he was like uh, you know um, this is not uh, mm. basically this is not canon but mm. we respectfully are adding to mm. this story that was started by Arthur, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Yeah. Um, and he was so worried apparently that that uh, that uh, Sherlock Holmes fans would 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 uh, protest the whole thing, no. But mm. uh, obviously like his love for the source material is so evident like there's so many small details that really stand out like how he, how Sherlock put on, uh, got got his cap and mm. his tweed coat, and, and the then pipe. how and the pipe and how, uh, how how his mentor started saying things like "elementary, Mister Holmes," yeah. Yeah. and so so he picks up these small things, you know. So so I I, I really found that uh, so much fun, especially like their little throwbacks too. Like at the very end, his uh, fight uh-huh. with uh, apparently Moriarty uh-huh. was uh, is is kind of foreshadowing his final fight. In uh, uh, against Moriarty in Reichenbach Falls, am I right? The uh, uh, Wincy. Yep. Yep. He he does he has a final fight with Moriarty uh, uh, at like this big waterfall. Yeah. This big waterfall or whatever. But 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 it like it's 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 a it's like a it's it's they're fencing too. So it's it's like foreshadowing also to to that final fight. So I I, I found that really that takeaway really cool that Christopher Columbus just loved the source material so much and then he just added all these small details for. For fans of of Sherlock Holmes to to, to pick up on, yep. mm-hmm. so yeah, it's one of the many yeah. things I enjoyed about the movie. What did you enjoy the most, Wincy? Like you chose this movie because it is your sort of intro to horror movies. But what was about what about the movie did you enjoy the most? Uh, for me, talaga, it's the fact na it because of this movie, it dawned on me that I, I aside from horror, I'm also a fan of like 
detective stories. Mm. And from this movie, I realized that the detective story is actually mm. almost all detective stories are especially the first part of any detective story is a horror story. Yeah, people okay. die. And strangely, Ren, as I was studying more like script writing and uh, the origins of like uh, Aristotelian storytelling, mm. parang ang, even horror films have the structure of a detective story. Mm. Na, let's say something like Scream or uh, Friday the thir- 13th. Diba? Na parang mm. you start with a crime you start with with a cold open where the where the monster unleashes the horrors diba tapos you have a body count usually 1 2 yeah. 3 diba and mm-hmm. then the body count goes closer and closer to the relatives or the friends or the family of the final girl right and then actually third act the Final girl becomes a detective, actually. Diba usually they go to the library and look at the microfish. Oh, so this, <laughs> this monster died in a fire somewhere. And this sure. is how I'll beat him. Diba? Palaging my research right. montage. I, I'm a sucker mm. for that part of the horror film, usually. Yung, the research montage. Tapos, they have this set piece palagi, diba? Of like fighting the monster. And in mm. a detective story, man, uh, it's about luring the the set piece is about luring the killer, diba? Into a trap and and yeah. unmasking him. Yeah. Yun. So, yeah. parang wow. And isa pa, uh, my 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 friend uh, Dodo Dayao, uh, he's a horror director. I'm sh- I'm sure you know. Him. Yes. Yeah. Uh, We've had told, him. Oh, We've had, had him on the show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he so told, so you mentioned you mentioned Mick and Dodo, and then now you, all three of you have been on the show. Oh wow. So we're man. doing we're doing well with our selections. Yeah. Guys. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So yeah, Dodo Dayo told me that if you got into like when Conan Doyle uh, started be- becoming like J.K. Rowling famous and rich. Okay. And of course, if you've re- there are 56 uh, short stories in the canon, in the original canon. But if you mm-hmm. go past all the famous ones and the, the, the celebrated uh, short stories, it got weirder and weirder. Now. It's like he was losing ideas but he mm. was becoming more occult. Like, oh. in if you read, let's say, short story number 40 to 56, mm. it was like really weird. He was uh, verging on Lovecraftian mm. mythology. Na, na oh. And Conan Doyle was actually, after Sherlock Holmes, pala, he became a Stephen King like writer. Ah. No way. Yeah, really? Yeah, man. Oh and, my God. and didn't he delve into the occult? Like, wasn't he a big. Yeah, he like, had. For he real? had. Uh, yeah, he was into see, see Conan Doyle, fairies yeah. and El- 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 fairies. Yeah, he he he. Damn. Yeah. He put up a photography studio for fairies. Ganun yeah. Yeah. He's really a crazy man. So <laughs> interesting. Oh, was this the where like there was that that those uh two children who faked yes photos of fairies? Yes, he bought that right or, or like yeah. he or he was but, the one funding it. He was funding it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read about that. With another writer. Can you elaborate? Because I don't know what that is. So what's the cuento? Like these two two girls, very young girls, r- released photos, right? Into the public where yeah, like yeah. they were playing with like tiny oh, fairies. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, you can Google it. And then I, I know he was involved in this somehow. I, I, pa, pa, uh, one of those hoaxes. Yata na, one then, of those kinda, hoaxes, yeah. yeah. And I think he might have defended it first. I'll, I'll Google it. We'll Google it. We'll fact check ourselves later on. We'll okay, fact okay, check. Okay. Yeah. So the crazy thing about Conan Doyle is he's this uh, medical student who met his uh, his teacher was actually he based Sherlock Holmes on his professor, right? his his teacher. Okay. Whose yeah. name I forgot. Tapos eventually when uh, he got old, he got crazy, bad shit crazy. Mm-hmm. So it's fun. <laughs> and also I talk crazy, Chris. Uh, I was uh, researching Rizal. Mm-hmm. And holy shit, he also had a stint as a Stephen King like horror writer. What? No yeah. shit. Yeah, man. Do you have copies of his short stories? Actually, one is very famous. It's called Junto al Pasig. Mm. So get this. Uh, this is something you won't like, Chris. So it's a, it's a, it, this is crazy. It's 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 Jose Rizal wrote this. It's a horror story. And he actually it was his horror career wasn't successful. Of course, mm-hmm. it, okay. Noli Mitangere and uh, El Fili was the, the bestsellers, diba? Tapos, right. after Before that, he had a stint as a short story writer. So, Junto al Pasig is about four kids who was in a procession along the Pasig River. 
Mm-hmm. And that alone is creepy na, di ba? Like a riverside procession. Yeah. And, and during Halloween pa. Oh my God. Oh shit. Tapos one of the their friends got miss. Uh, sorry. Went missing during the procession. And okay. it was actually Satan. Satan was actually behind it. The kid. No. Oh, oh fuck. That's so, so cool. Ito, this was like really deep into my research. Hindi na ano. I was uh, I was working for Ayala Land for the last uh, three years before I changed uh, job. So I was stationed in uh, the Ayala Museum. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I had access to all these uh, in the Filipinas Heritage Diary. I had access to all these Rizal texts na Ambeth Ocampo levels na pay, academic yeah. papers. So, <laughs> oh my God. So... I Sayamo. learned so much. He, he's, yeah. Rizal actually turned out to be a super strange man. Din pala. She's super I believe strange. it. If you're that smart, there's got to be something wrong with you. And he yeah, spoke he's a bajillion he, languages. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. Like, he knows like yeah. four, four, fluent in four to five languages, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to be weird. You gotta it's be funny. Weird. Uh, at my, our professor, Ni Chris, at uh, Marilu Diaz Abaya, who was uh, behind the 1999 uh, the epic film. Rizal, the most expensive yeah. film in history, Jose Rizal by GMA Films. Uh, sabi sa kanya <laughs> GMA president daw, let's make Jose Rizal, ang thrust natin dito is to make Jose Rizal relatable. Mm. Make him uh, like an everyman that all Filipinos mm. can relate. And then uh, Tita right. Marilu, uh, rest in peace, told the producers that I'm not gonna do this film is if that's the if that's the thrust of the company, oh, because he was he was he was not he was not ever he was not an everyday man. He was crazy. Yeah, yeah. And he he had a million hobbies daw. Tapos, but he was not like you or me. And yeah, like, we shouldn't be ashamed of that. But as a as a as a Filipino people, but actually celebrate it. Na parang he was mm. an eccentric. And I'm gonna tell the sabi ni Tita Marilu. I'm gonna tell it as it is. Galing. Ang galing. And yeah, tama. Yung, if you watch the his, the Jose Rizal, he was he was weird. He's a he was yeah. a weird guy. An Just like uh, Arthur Conan Doyle. Mm-hmm. And yon ah, yung scary. That's, that's super cool. Super scary then, Chris. Uh, Arthur Conan Doyle was also an ophthalmologist, pala. Oh what? no way! Yeah, man, what it's scary. Fuck? Hold on, I mean. And, wow, that's and, pretty cool. Yeah, so when I was writing the story, the parallels between Rizal and Arthur Conan Doyle, yun pala, they had their clinics, their eye clinics, their respective eye clinics weren't, ano, weren't like super successful. Mm. And they had a lot of downtime before patients came in. So they wrote their short that's stories. When they write. Yeah, wow, exactly. that's so cool. <laughs> what, I, what I know about Rizal is uh, he actually blinded his mother. <laughs> Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, an accidental, like he was operating on her eyes. <laughs> and he, uh, he, he blinded her or whatever. Hi, oh, and sir. he also, he also, <laughs> he also, he assisted in his sister's delivery of her baby. And she died on the table too. Oh, so he God. wasn't a good doctor. Like he was a doctor, but he was a bad one. Yeah, I think. I, I, at one. that time, medicine was really hard to come by. I, I think, think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Like good exactly. medicine, like the best practices wasn't exactly. what we know yeah. right now. Yeah, well, ophthalmology as he Conan Doyle. Damn, yeah, it's too so close for that's comfort. a that's a pretty good parallel. That's, yeah. uh, that's really yeah. cool. I like how all the elements of this episode have come together. It's like, um, <laughs> when Wincy wrote a short story about about Sherlock Holmes and Doctor Yeah, and we've we've talked about everything, and and this movie is about is about Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, about the movie. Yes. Yun, I, I, going back into the movie, I really like the watching. I watched it yesterday for Halloween. Yeah. Uh, How has it changed for you watching it the second time? I mean, uh, like watching yeah. it again now. The, I not think second there was time. A this is probably like the thirty second time for you. Indeed, man. Siguro thirty third. No, but uh, I think the character writing uh, sort of was lacking. Yung relationships mm-hmm. nung the, the Hermione, uh, Ron, Weasley, and Harry mm-hmm. Potter uh, dynamics wasn't Dynamic, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't there for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sayang, Medyo useless no? nga si Elizabeth. Si yeah, Elizabeth. Oh, she's kind of useless. Siya, yeah. she, she's there to, 
Dare to push the story forward lang. <laughs> Pero it would have been interesting because I like that angle kasi I mean the new the BBC Sherlock uh series they explore the sexuality ni, yung sexuality ni Sherlock Holmes eh, na is mm. is he asexual or is he yeah, yeah. homosexual yeah. or mm. or you know it ito naman it posits that he had a great love diba yeah, yeah. but it's what caused him to become to not love anything else afterwards yeah, yeah. yeah. Pero, pero what's your take on that being I, I I'm seeing that you pala guys are Sherlock Holmes Fans. Massive show. I, th- I think he was just, uh, well, I don't know if, if he was asexual, but I just think he was just someone who just didn't have time for anything else yeah. other than uh, yeah. his but work. But about the modern one, the modern TV shows would always connect him to Irene uh, Adler. Yeah, but there's course. also this weird tension between him and Moriarty and, uh, in, the, uh, in yeah. the show. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And parang uh, I don't know in the last Sherlock I forgot which one I saw parang they even talk na they're connected they're so connected yeah. Sherlock yeah. Holmes and Moriarty and I yeah. saw that here I don't know if it was saja in young Sherlock Holmes pero nung nasugatan si Moriarty it was in the exact same place nasugatan yeah. si Sherlock and oh for real oh wow wound. that's oh that's a pretty cool one. so at the end shot. He has his scar here, see si Sherlock, oh. and then when Moriarty signs, he also has the scar in the same. Oh, scar. that's cool! That's cool. So that's if it's amazing. if it's Sajat, then wow, connected. Yeah, m- kayo must for be, abs. must be. Yeah, yeah. But aside from that, uh, no, uh, that the hallucination sequences were wow, as in yeah, it, it I held up. Oh, it dude, held that was up. Funny. The food was the hilarious. Food was kind of it was funny. just like wow. <laughs> his <laughs> fear there. is just I'm a fatty, so all yeah. his food. <laughs> It's gonna go in my mouth. <laughs> Everyone else has like these terrifying visions. This is just like fucking Food. dancing donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Feeding um, themselves to him. Like, yeah. what? This is your Parang fear? Yung hallucination your sausage party. Yeah. <laughs> that animated yeah. movie with Salah, etc. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Go ahead. What's, what's so cool about this is it, it fe- this movie features the very first CGI creation ever on screen ever yes. like yes. ever I was watching it and then that that stained glass night that I was like wow that's not a fucking uh, stop motion character I was like yeah. mm. it's moving with the camera and I was yeah. like how, yeah. how did they do this like how they do it actually and John was Lasseter so- was the one behind it yes what? So, yeah before, he, before Pixar before who's Pixar? John Lasseter yeah. Uh-huh. He's the head creative of head of uh, cri- former Pixar. head creative of Pixar, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So oh, he shit, was I didn't crazy. Know that. He was the one yeah. in charge of that sequence, pala. Yeah. Wow. Dude, when I watched that sequence, I was like, "How did they do this? Like, this is this is insane. Like, this is not mm-hmm. stop motion because like the it it the camera moved. It, it, you know, it and moved it went with behind the characters. and showed yeah. the the I know the flatness. Pretty cool. And I was like, wow, for 1985, that's incredible. Mm-hmm. Man, those, 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 uh, that, that sequence is better than most of the stuff that's being done here right now. And uh-huh. I'm not, I'm not even mocking that. I, I just really, I'm just saying how revolutionary that, 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 yeah. uh, sequence was. It's yeah. Incredible. Mm-hmm. But yeah, what, what are the things in this movie that would, you wouldn't, uh, let a kid watch nowadays? Wouldn't Maybe the pouring watch? of wax on, yeah, that, but, uh, well, yeah. That's, I don't that's know. I traumatic. liked it as a kid. All, all right. <laughs> I wanted to rap myself, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if you looked at the editing of these uh, hallucinatory sequences, yeah. there were this. Para sabi ko, this is masterful filmmaking. Na para, yes. the, the 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 editing, especially mm. the one with for Elizabeth when she was uh, being buried alive. Mm. Oh, dude, that was so good when she's falling. Yeah, and, and they like, had the set. Her finger, her fingernails are scraping the mud. Yeah, when she's yeah. falling down. And then oh, her, and, and yeah, then yeah. the professor that her dad, the was 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 burying her with she, he was yeah, yeah. Yeah. and uh. And yeah, mud. that was good. That was good. Actually, may pagka Harry Potter nga, kasi di yung worst fear mo yung what you're most scared of is the one that haunts you again. Galing ayon. Yeah. But I still can't believe kay Watson pagkain lang talaga. I know. Tapos kinausap pa niya yung food after that in the next scene. He has something to say to me. Best talk to is like eclair or something. Parang yun. Cute. Cute, cute. Yeah. Yeah. Watching this as a kid, Siguro, I must have had fun. I don't I don't know why I Love haven't it. seen it in forever. But watching it as an adult, did you see the twist coming or no? I saw I saw the twist coming. But 
Oh, that's only because I actively look for twists when it yeah, comes to movies like me this. Too, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm always guessing. Like, I'm always guessing. Actually, my very first guess was Lisbeth because I had I had no see- I had I hadn't seen this in forever. I don't remember it mm. at all. So mm. I was like, oh, it must be it must be interesting if the bad guy was a girl. That's why the, I mean the 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 hooded man who who kept like. You know, using the blow, yeah. blow dart yeah. because like there was a hood, and then it happened around the school, and then there are no girls in the school. Um, so, so I was like, oh, it could be Elizabeth, but then no, 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 that's that's, that's too forward thinking. Yeah, <laughs> that Kalbo woman like, no, freaked me out as a kid. I yeah, that that, that mm. the cult when her Madame. wig fell off, that was creepy. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was super creepy, and then she turned into a completely different person when the wig was taken off. She just started mm-hmm. yelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. Super creepy. And actually, when she actually swallowed the poison dart, yeah, we don't see her hallucination, but she no. burned burnt herself she burnt, alive. No, yeah. Parang, yeah. So burned alive. Your 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 imagination is left wondering what is she thinking. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. What yeah. did yeah? What did she see? Yeah. Ah, isa pa also. Um, what I liked about it, Chris, the parang when I was making my uh, horror films before, the parang. I've always had this debate with my editor or my cinematographer na should we flash back whenever someone is explaining something? And 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 sa Sherlock Holmes, diba, there's always that explanation montage na parang, this is how I solved the crime, Watson. Yes, parang, yeah, yes, 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 yes. And dito yes, walang yes, flashbacks. Wala, 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 wala. Uh, Whoa. That's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. Yeah. And but it's, it's a, a lot of exposition on Watson's part because there's the a narrator, yeah, the right? narrator. See yeah, old yeah. Watson. Mm. But I don't oh, know I about mind. you. And I in debate namin before. And sometimes, like like in Pulp Fiction, there was this. Uh, that's the best example for me. There was the Christopher Walken scene, him telling uh, someone uh, his father hid a watch in his in the crack of his <laughs> ass, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, and yes. I was you as a viewer. You're expecting that okay. Anytime he's gonna cut to like footage of World well, War II, hiding diba? it in his hiding ass. Hiding yeah. ass. Pero wala, <laughs> walang walang edit. Imagine it. So you imagine yeah. it, and, and parang mm. you're watching a play, diba? a stage play, or you're in parang theater roots again. Na parang you're watching it, and you're imagining a mono. What's happening mm. while someone is doing a monologue? Mm-hmm. And I felt that here, yung actually, you know what it reminded me of also. It's like a Merchant Ivory movie in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> I miss those. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Eighty six. Merchant or Ivory. Hmm. Merchant Ivory was this uh, was a production house. Or, well, mm-hmm. was a, a studio, and they had a very specific kind of film. Parang mm-hmm. very. Uh, sorry, what, what do you call it, Chris? Uh, it would be a uh, period film. Sorry, I started something. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Period film. Like they, they were the ones who did Remains of the Day. Yeah, like, mm. they throw it back to the 1800s or okay. early 90s. And, and it's always this like, uh, it's always a story about different classes or, and mm-hmm. the love story. But one of them is like, uh, you know, uh, it's very English in okay. that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, sorry, the one I remember the most is Remains of the Day and Howard's End. I don't know if Howard's End oh, is even both, both Merchant Ivory. Movies. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it's actually it's a, a genre I want to revisit lately. Eh, para, it's very throwback. And it's very, you know, parang emotionally wrought. Emotionally, yeah. 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 Let me Google that shit. <laughs> also, uh, literally well, throwback to the 1800s. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a period film. Sorry, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Merchant Ivory Productions. Yeah. But interesting, then, guys, here about young Sherlock Holmes. I realized. Yung mm. the cult, the Ramitep cult, the the, right. the Egyptian cult, Egyptian cult, yeah, and and I realized ko in eighties in a lot of eighties movies, kahit mm. comedy or like uh something like the Ghostbusters, diba? Mm-hmm. It's always uh there's always a cult, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. even in a an underground cult in a city. Palaging ganon yung yung plot. Sure. Diba? Like like in Ghostbusters, I, it's I think. I kind of forgot what was the motive of the cult here uh, yeah, it's fuck. What was revenge it? revenge revenge no, yeah sorry I read it up yeah because those founders those white guys who were dying one by one mm. they were they were like young men who wanted to put up a hotel in Egypt and something bad happened I think it became an archaeological dig and they found while they were building the hotel they found uh, like it became an archaeological dig because something big I think what almost happened there Mm. And they 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 dug up some important like artifacts. Sure. So naging iba. and then 
from some for some reason like see si, who's what's the name of the contrabida Epi Ray uh, Moriarty Moriarty who later on became Moriarty <laughs> yeah. and he's like he's like the son of the of the yeah lady. oh yeah because he's half yeah. Egyptian right he's half yeah. Egyptian yeah. Anglo Egyptian yeah that was Anglo- the first Anglo- time Egyptian. I heard that term I was like what <laughs> and, 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 then, and then sister niya yung girl the one yung yeah. uh, 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 si Calvo mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I like how we summarize <laughs> that. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> it's interesting. Go Even ahead. in Temple of Doom, it was a thuggy cult. In India. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's India. Thuggy, right? That was terrifying, man. That is terrifying. Mm. It, it's a horror film, the Temple of Doom. That was yeah, that is, in yeah, Big that Trouble in Little horror. China. Uh, that, that, that's John Carpenter. It's I don't know, my yeah, Chinese. It's a, it was a Chinese cult, right? Uh, like, yeah, Chinese cult, exactly. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, no. They had, they had like thunder, lightning gods or something. Like, yeah, exactly. Weird. And the Golden Child, I think it was Aztec Maya Inca. Oh yeah, Eddie Murphy. Wow, Eddie okay. Murphy. Yeah, and there was also uh, Dragnet with with Dan Aykroyd. It was an man pagan. Mm-hmm. So a lot of <laughs> '80s movies were obsessed with with, with underground cults. That so was, so a lot of 80s movies were basically white people being afraid of foreign cultures. Or ex- yeah, wow, making, yeah. It, parang making it exotic and parang yeah. strange. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually. <laughs> parang, ano. uh, good times. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh. whiteies. Uh, all the colonizers <laughs> making movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even The Exorcist, right? That, that yeah, I think that's, 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 that's Armenian. an Egyptian, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. See, Anna, see, uh, Pazuzu. See, uh, Pazuzu. Pazuzu. Yep. Wow, I actually don't remember the story of the exorcist. Oh, I just wow. remember the creepy Visual. images and the visuals. Yeah, yeah. The visuals. Which was the important <laughs> part, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But then aside I from. I go ahead. No, I was just going to comment back about Merchant Ivory films. Hangang call me by your name, Sila Palayone. Like, uh, um, James hmm. Ivory was one of the. Wow. The screenwriter for it, <laughs> and I just realized that Merchant Ivory are the last names of the two guys who set it up. It's like wow. Merchant, uh, like, yeah, Merchant. but um, it's by Ishmael, Ish, Ishmael Merchant and James Ivory. <laughs> I forgot about that. Anyway, but also yeah, this all this movie also pushed me to. I love Victoria, Victorian England as a setting yeah. in ho- for sure. horror films. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are like, oh, man. big I love, fans. I love it so great. much. I love it so much. Like, uh, not my thing. Pe- Penny Dreadful. Did you? Oh my that? god! Yeah, beautiful. Actually, yeah, I so like you know, Rene, Chris. I what I like about uh, another subgenre of history. I like it when. Oh, sorry, another subgenre of horror I like is when you mix history, a bit of history with mm. the mm. horror. If it's period horror, especially, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that makes sense. It's, it becomes so interesting that as like as my 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 sub the subgenres of horror that I like are another aside from Victorian uh, Victorian horrors is colonial horror like. Ooh. Yung 17th century naman. Oh, like like the the witch? Yeah, exactly. Or oh, or wow. sabihin na natin na uh, M. Night Shyamalan's uh, The Village. The Village. Oh, I yeah. like that. I, I enjoyed it so until many. the twist. But <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, let me introduce you to 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 western horror, dude. That's another mm. cool oh, subgenre. Yes. Like like the American West. What, what? Ah. Bo- yeah, Bone Bone, bone Tomahawk. Oh, oh like, my god, that's one of my favorite horror. Oh, films. so good. So the bir- cool. uh, uh fucking uh something birds, I forgot what it's called. Dead birds, dead birds. It's about dead these birds. oh man. It, yeah, that's another good one. That's, yeah. Um, yeah, American West the uh, horror. That's another good subgenre. May sa bahong gustong it's not horror but it was horrifying. Uh the prop the preposition the product preposition the proposition Chris. It's Australian it? west. It's Australian western. Oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. with, yeah. with uh, what's his name? Jack um, Jack 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 used to uh, uh, I, I know the guy in uh, uh Memento <laughs> what's his Memento, fucking name? The one of the Australian Guy Pierce. So was, Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce. He was Guy also Pierce. in uh, out of Monte Cristo diba. Yeah, that's good anyway, one. parang Parang sobrang ganda ng ganong klaseng new. Sorry, we kind of went off. The new, the new western. The, the new yeah. western is pretty cool, yeah. But yeah, Bone Tomahawk is on my list of stuff to watch. Bone Tomahawk is I should watch is, that because you keep yeah. saying it's good. Is it good in the way that I like it? Or is yes, it a, is I think a so. film I think person so good? good? Yeah. No, 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 no. I think yeah. you'll like it. It's nice and gory. Okay. Oh. Pero yun na nga, yeah. Chris, why, 
why would it work? No, ako, I never in a million years would have thought na a western and a horror same movie would sense work, to me. Na parang, I think well, I enjoy it because it it brings the the whole the period horror because it brings a whole element of like uh, it's a whole different world for you. You yeah. know, like you know, if you're sick of you know horror in in the real world set in the city uh, and then you you realize like oh, fuck how how would horror work in in olden days when you had no machine guns you had no anything to defend yourself with you know yeah. it's a, it's a really it brings a different you know thing to uh, twist to the whole story Flavor. Flavor, yeah, yeah. And if and they also really harped on the fact that parang you were pioneering towns and you were supposed to be self-reliant and nobody was there who was going to help you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's funny. Yeah. So we, Mick Vergara, your, your previous guest, also told me about this new historical uh, horror genre. Oh. Na oh. That's, not, that's not a Western. That's not a Victorian mm-hmm. England horror. Mm-hmm. Hobo horror. Hobo, oh, horror. Like, yeah. like, so it, it's set in the 1910s to the 1920s. So, parang think, oh brother, where art thou? Oh, that, 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 well, I've thing. never heard of this. So, of course, this, Mick would be the one. Of course, yeah. yeah. So, uh, it's start. It's starting now in comic books, like Harrow Country. You new setting, like Edwardian sure. era, naman in America, like ganda, ganda. before the Titanic. And you had these train jumpers, meaning hobos, diba? Na sure. Hobos sure, were basically sure. um, people from the Civil War who didn't want to find jobs after the Civil yes. War was over, diba? So they were like the punks of, of the 1910s. Oh, Pero, that's cool. Yeah. Ito yung mga ano nila, more like Satanists yung kalaban nila and the devil. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, ganda, ganda. And, and your setting is, you know the, that the image of a guy in a in a hat, tapos he's got this uh, waltzing Matilda. That, that, that stick with a, uh, parang supot sa dulo. Mm. <laughs> and he's got patches on his, uh, mm. on oh his yeah, 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 yes, 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 yes. And yes, probably yes, he's got, yes, a, he's like a, uh, a weed of, or something sa, bibig sure, na, yeah. hanging out, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that, ganda, that, ganda. ganun yung setting, pero horror. Parang sabi sa akin yun, na parang you should explore that na, oh shit, it, it's actually <laughs> Have you seen, I know, uh, Wincy, have you seen, um, uh, Castle Rock. Yes, uh, the first few episodes. But I found it medyo slow burn. Very slow. Season one. Season oh, dude, one, I think oh. you're going to like season two. Okay. Num- for a number of reasons. Number one, it's it's about, uh, it's the origin story of uh, of um, of uh, Annie from uh, Misery. And see, and yeah, okay. see, what's your name? Uh, Crush ko yan, eh, si, uh, Yeah. Really uh, hot woman. I forgot her name. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. there's a backstory there where where they go back to colonizer times, like the pilgrims, and it's a very long. Oh my god! Um, my favorite backstory, in, uh, and it's fucking satanic, and it's fucking it's incredible. <laughs> oh, sure. Like, like, like it's really good. It's it's really good. It's really, 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 really fucking good. satanic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You'll you like it. Just just skip the yeah. season two, dude. I'm telling you, season two is so fast. Okay, season great. one is a slog. Season two is so fast, and you don't need to see season one to, to enjoy season two. So yeah, yes. and also Lovecraft Country, I think, is a period move, period series. Oh, I, I yeah. haven't seen. We're, it. we're yeah, big fans here. Oh, okay. Oh my we're god, still, I, I we're know. Still, we're I know still convincing Aaron to do it. I will. I will. I will. Yeah. I will. I'm gonna start soon. Ah, okay. You covered it, pal. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I'm not. I'm not that yet into Lovecraft yet. Yeah, no, no. I still have much to learn. Pero ang galing niya because it's very... It's weird. Like, it's called it's Lovecraft we- Country but it's not really Lovecraftian. Like, there's very little Lovecraftian yeah. elements about it. Well, there are. I mean, overall arcing. But like, it's weird. Like, each episode, they, they, they take a subgenre of horror and they run yeah, with it. Amazing. And they, yeah, like, exactly. one, one episode is like a monster mo- movie. One episode is like a yeah, ghost haunted house. Haunted house. Oh, yeah. Ah, it's iba iba. Well, they're all no, they're all connected. Uh, they're uh, all connected, but they use they use all the tropes of uh, well, most of the tropes of uh, of horror films, and they yeah. use it in they use it in the episode. Yeah. So my monster, my my body gore pa. Yeah, there's one that's nothing but body horror. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. And there's also uh, cult. Para may ganong klaseng mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, all right. But it's also steep in the language of the visual language of parang Southern Gothic and uh, galing din. Yeah. Oh, galing. it's a Southern. Like, towards the end, that's when it becomes Lovecraftian. When yeah, there's like yeah. involvement in uh, like 
Oh, I'm just hey. some older Wait, gods. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, and then my Asian horror pa. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Oh yeah. my yeah. god, like Asian uh, horror pa. Uh, all right, all right. Yeah, that's all it. Right. That's all I'm saying. I'm sold. I'm sold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude, it's, it's so good. It's so good. And that's the first season, alang. It's just yeah, one yes, season. Yes, okay. Yes. Wala pang nasabi about second two season two, but yeah, feeling ko meron naman. But yeah, that's what that's what I love about the horror genre and shows like this. Nga na parang mm-hmm. it's it, an ano palan. You have you have so much to learn. Even if you mm-hmm. think you've you've read a lot of or watched a lot, there's Man, always I've, something I've, new. I've always called myself like a massive horror fan. I've never known much of horror until like I mean like no, I've never ingested so much horror than the, in the past yeah. uh, five months uh, <laughs> because tell of this me, pandemic. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> around the time I forced Miguel to start watching horror. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. But like, get like, and then I've been I've been knowing like learning so much yeah, shit. Like, it's so much fun. It's so much fun to me. Like, like yeah. from Dodo yeah. Dayo alone. Uh, I learned. Grab si Dodo dude. Galing yeah. ng mga insight niya and it's deep dive talaga siya into that whole genre. Like, what did you learn from him? Man? Yeah, go. Well, two terms. Botanical horror. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the ruins. Oh, uh, shit. Good plants. Plant plants, horror, yeah. dude. Tro- like, tro- plants. Trolls, too. That's so weird. Oh, what are you little yeah. shop of horrors? Ganon? Yeah, mga ganon. Yeah. Horror. Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing is uh, botanical, yeah, yeah. botanical horror. Botanical yeah. horror. Yeah. Tapos, there's also Dang. narcotic horror. Horror ah, that fuck. deals with uh, drugs. Like oh, man. Uh, there's Would a great one I just saw called Bliss. I I, I keep recommending oh, this to everyone. Wow. Oh wow! Not not the local one. Not the local yeah, yeah, yeah. one. Which no, is me, which yeah. is you know it's it's, yeah. a, it's I enjoyed it no more. But there's a there's a, a film called Bliss and it's a actually it's a vampire movie but but uh, it involves a lot of narcotics mm. and then I think it's I think it definitely falls under narcotic yeah. horror. And actually, yeah, strangely, like going back to our young Sherlock Holmes, Conan mm. Doyle pala was one of the the fathers of narcotic horrors. Because oh, no most shit. of the Sherlock Holmes tales, because he's a doctor, eh, diba? Yeah. Especially right. the late, the rare stuff, the the long tale of the Sherlock Holmes canon. It was, okay, shit. It was super creepy. There was this one case, it's called The Devil's Foot. Mm-hmm. And it explored okay. that para, their only solution to crack the code, uh, sorry, to crack the case was for Sherlock to ingest copious amounts of the drug. That's so good. So I know he did, he did a lot of like cases with with opium. Yes, exactly. Right? Yeah. 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 But so, it was like his LSD. <laughs> but yeah. I opened his mind to like possibilities. <laughs> and you know, yeah. parang di ba sabi nila in, in, when we were in grade school, nakakatawa na parang Sherlock Holmes. You, there was a program in the Ateneo before called Drop Everything and Read. That was they were mm. telling us to read Sherlock Holmes. And if you think about it, it's not for kids. Most of the stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And you wouldn't read it siguro until your high school. Kasi yeah. Right. It was violent. Yeah. It was, there were prostitutes. There were venereal diseases. Sarap. And And the world was, and actually, Sherlock Holmes was openly an addict. Yeah. Yes, it was, right? Well, he was, right? Yeah. 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 I thought yeah, it was openly just an addict. misremembering that. No, in, in, yeah. in the canon itself, parang, they really showed Sherlock as you're a drug addict. Yeah, like problem talaga yung his ano, like they'd find him in an opium den or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. and it was because his mind pala was so fast. He yes. needed drugs to slow it down. So sure, sure. Ang lungkot din prob- ano, he was probably like on the spectrum. Oh yeah, yeah also, for sure. Yeah. Right? For yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 Actually, for sure. I know a, a lot of people are not fans of the Robert Downey Jr. Uh, Ju- yeah, Jack I'm a big sure. fan. But there was this one scene na parang, holy shit, I get it. Why Sherlock mm-hmm. Holmes needs drugs. <laughs> there was this one scene na parang, uh, he was in a restaurant waiting for Watson. Tapos, super na late si Watson. Tapos, he, yung Sherlock Holmes vision na he was looking at the, the oh, coughing. Oh, and he's just like, oh, so he's just going crazy. Yeah, and like, oh, oh, na parang, there is Just no noticing case. everything. Yep, there is no case to be made. There are no dots to be connected. But he was looking at the fingernails of people. He was looking at the coffee stains galing, on galing, the galing. table. Okay. Tapos, he was shaking na. Yeah. Tapos, alam niya, there is no case. Until Watson came. Ah, sorry, I'm late, man. Parang ganun. <laughs> so, parang nakakaawar. The, the reason why I like Sherlock Holmes. I mean, Chris Seguro, you'd agree with me. He's like one of the greatest fictional characters of all time. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. More than Batman, Suguro, he, he's or, gonna he's gonna live forever. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Well, he, isn't, he all, isn't he also the sort of isn't Sherlock Holmes one of the inspirations yeah, for Batman? Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, characters that yeah. influence Batman also like 
Yep, detective. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you know, yeah, he's gonna live forever, man. Na parang, and mm. he's not he unto every generation, parang Sherlock Holmes. Uh, even the kids now are, are fans of but there's Enola Holmes, diba na, yeah, na, yeah. Na, yeah. Na, again, YA, It's always which is, which being is really invented. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, Which is really, really? funny. Uh, Enola Holmes. I I enjoyed it a lot. Um, yeah. But but the estate of Conan Doyle uh, threatened, threatened to sue. sue yeah, bec- because they gave they gave Sherlock Holmes emotion in yeah. Enola Holmes. Uh, yeah, that's why. No, I think I think that's one of and the it goes, it goes against. Yeah. It goes against his core principle, which is yeah. like he's emotionless. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's why. Uh, that's why the movie we saw. Had that disclaimer in the beginning, like it was yeah. very. It, they wanted to make sure that the Doyle, fa- like the Doyle family, was. We're just doing this as a purely work of fiction, uh, uh, separate mm-hmm. from you know your version of uh, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> it's it's basically a fan film. Yeah, but exactly. Yeah, yeah. But isn't Sherlock? I checked because before writing my story or in publishing it, it's public domain, na pala, Sherlock Holmes. Yes, yeah, but it may, is. But certain, but the family has or the has a certain. Oh, that's. Google that. Yeah, it's like so, if, if you have to, yeah. yeah, they're just ways of how you per, you have to portray him. But yeah. he is public domain. He is. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay. Probably super yaman nung mga ano niya, nung mga grandchildren niya. Sarap. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're protecting his legacy just like uh, the Tolkien yeah. estate protects the mm. Tolkien le- legacy. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so we're we're kind of nearing uh, the end of our episode. Maybe we can do a, a nice uh, wrap up of uh, sure, sure, yeah. I mean, like shit, man. We could really we we could go for, go on for another hour, mm. to be yeah. honest. Yeah, man. But uh, let's 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 keep this a uh, a nice uh, listenable length for our viewers. Yes. I mean, our our listeners. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe we can do a final words on 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 uh, young Sherlock Holmes. Okay. I'll start. Um, sure. I it was it was very exciting for me to see this again after how many years. But I also realized that it was a very kiddie movie after watching it again. And I don't remember it being kiddie when I was a child. I remember, you know, it was weird. Mm. There were people being sacrificed. So when I watched it again, I was kind of like, oh, it's super for kids, pala. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, I still I still enjoyed seeing it because I remembered each frame. But yeah, mm. I, I forgot mm. that it was a child's movie. So that's mine. I liked it because uh number one, I must have been so young when I when I saw it the first time. Because when when Wincy proposed this movie, I was like, Yeah, I've seen that movie. I, mm-hmm. I think I enjoyed it. But uh watching it again, I was like, Wow, I don't remember anything. Um until that that one frame that really stuck with me was him blowing the dart back into the villain's mouth. <laughs> but uh yeah, but uh, I had so much fun watching this movie. Honestly, <clears throat> um, it's nice seeing it with 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 eyes. Na you you uh, you kind of see where. Well, number one, you know everyone who is involved with it, and you see how how their 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 the directions of their lives have taken, and then and then you can see where you can go yeah. back and watch this movie and be like, oh wow, this is like the start of a lot of things. Um, seriously, I'm, I'm gonna say it again. Harry Potter owes a lot to this movie. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Chris Chris yeah. Columbus wrote this movie. He was involved in this production very, very heavily. He directed the first Harry Potter movie, and you can see the seeds of of, yeah. mm. of Harry Potter, the Sorcerer's Stone, with uh, in in this movie. I had so much fun with it. Uh, you can see the the hand of Chris Columbus. You can see the hand of Steven Spielberg. Uh, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Mm. How about you, Miguel? For me, I so I was I'm not the few who hasn't seen this at all. For some reason, oh. this is uh, this escaped my childhood. But I did enjoy the origin story. Parang you understood that this is a movie that kind of loved the whole mythology of Sherlock Holmes and that world. And parang galing lang then how feeling ko it was marketed as a kid's movie. But the themes were, it's kind of sophisticated in its own way. Uh, the craft is sophisticated. Even the story is sophisticated. And parang yun nga, parang you can see the early beginnings or at least the influences of people like Spielberg, Columbus in the movie again. Yeah. Mm. It's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. How about you, Wincy? Any last words on the movie? Ako, yeah. For everyone, uh, 
who wants to get into Sherlock Holmes, there's always a gateway drug. Diba? I'm, I'm, mm. I'm sure like for the kids nowadays, it's uh, Enola Holmes on Netflix. Diba? Mm-hmm. I guess this was our Enola Holmes for kids in the 80s. Ah, yeah, so yeah. it's a great gateway drug to the whole Sherlock Holmes mm. universe. And if not, uh, if you like Victorian fiction or horror, it's a mm. great gateway drug to that as well. And yeah, watching it after probably I last saw it probably twenty years ago. Mm-hmm. It's still strangely, it still holds up. Mm. And I guess if it's something that you can show your kids when they're a little older, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, so, awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Well, uh, hey, hey, uh, thank you so much for coming yeah. on, Wincy. That was happy so much to fun be here, man. Super happy. Thank you Big for fan of your movie podcast. to me. Yeah, thank yeah. you, sir. Good, great, great choice. Great choice. Like, it's out of left field. Good yeah. choice was out yeah, of left yeah, field, sure. but but it was fun. It was fun. I, I really enjoyed it. Thank um, you. You know, we, you actually, well, just so everyone knows, Wincy sent in a, a list. Yeah. I know. But we voted on it, the three of us. Yeah. And then we, we thought that was, this was like, oh, this is an interesting movie to talk yeah. about. So so we all chose it, uh, the three of us. Uh, so, yeah. Um, um, any uh, anything you want to plug before before we uh, end the episode? Oh Wednesday? yeah, sure. Uh, if you have time, um, maybe you can uh, download or so, sorry, not download. <laughs> if you have time, maybe you can buy my ebook and read yeah. it. It's just uh, 196 pesos. It's called Tales for a Rainy Season. It's available on um, Amazon Kindle and Amazon Kindle Unlimited. Congrats, dude. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And uh, I have two bands right now under Island Records. Thanks, yes. Chris. Yes. Uh, so, and Big Baby Studio. So the first one is Us to Evil Zero. Woo-hoo. We have an uh, upcoming EP coming out on the, this November. And nice. uh, Narda. Uh, oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, Narda. So back in the 2000s. Uh, so yeah, our engineers yes. here, our engineers here, PV Nicolas, uh, did Ooh. the remastering of our entire 50 song catalog. So Ship. it's gonna come Hell out. Yeah, yeah. it's right. gonna come cool. out January 2021. Congrats! So on, cool. Love congrats, it. dude. Thank, thank you. Thank Renaissance you, man. man. Thank you. Yeah. It's called the midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> how, and how <laughs> apt! And that's our clip for promoting this episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not a Renaissance. Awesome. It's a midlife crisis. It, it's what you call a midlife crisis. <laughs> Release a book. Yeah. <laughs> release new music. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Wincy. Thank yeah. you, sir. Thank, Thank you, Wincy. Thank you so much. What an honor to be part of the dare. Thank, Thank you. you, everyone. This was Thank awesome. You. Love this episode. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Brought to you by Big Baby Studios.